Hey everyone, in this video, we will introduce our research conducted within the EMS area. The main objective of this study is to identify and study the diversity of wildlife species using the two methods, which are MISNET and camera trick. This research is important to increase our knowledge and awareness of the biodiversity within our campus. I will explain how to set up the MISNET method. First of all, you must choose a suitable location. The site should be along bird-like paths, forest edges near river or open areas close to canopy. Avoid areas that are too windy or near tory tree. The second method is digging the ground and stelling to pools. The ground should be dug at least 30 cm deep, and two pools should be planted according to the light of the mist net, which is 9 meters. In this step, ensure that the pools are sturdy and upright. The third step is installing the mist net. The mist net must be opened slowly to prevent it from tangling. So, it will then be attached to the pool stuff where Stanley yearly. For this step, the machine should hang loosely with forming pockets so that bird can enter and get trapped inside the net pocket. The fourth step is interaction time. The machine should be set up as early as 6 am because this is the time when birds are most active. At 6 pm, the mist net should be taken down to prevent unwanted capture. The last step is operation. The mist net will remain open for 12 hours per day and must be checked every 2 hours to reduce stress on trapped bird. This is our capture result on the third day at 10 am, which is Repidura Javanica. This advantages of this net was not later capture. This method does not kill or injure the bird if monitored properly. Second, easy to set up. These nets are easy to install and can be moved according to research needed. Uh, last low cost. Misses are relative cheap compared to other bird capture method. The disadvantages of misnet is risk of injury. There is a risk of bird getting injury if they remain trapped for too long. And the second required regular monitoring. This method requires a lot of manpower and time as the nets need to be checked frequently during bird study. Okay, that's all for Miss Net. We're going to camera trip. Thank you. Hi, I'm Nuru Natasha. As a representative from Group E, we'll explain how to handle a camera trap using the correct method. First of all, we must choose a suitable place or location for the installation of camera trap. The location chosen should not be too open or closed. You should choose an area that shows signs of animal presence such as water sources, footprints, or animal feces. Apart from that, the area must also be safe from humor disturbance and threats of damage such as fallen trees and floods. Next. The camera strap should be placed at a suitable height mount on a tree trunk. To obtain recording results from the presence of large mammals, the height of the camera trap is installed at 45 until 60 cm above the ground, while small animal or reptiles are at a height of 20 until 30 cm. Make sure the camera is installed facing slightly downwards which can display small animal walking on the forest floor. Avoid facing the camera towards the sunrise or sunsets as this will cause the picture to be dark and clear. Install the camera firmly using a special strap to ensure the camera doesn't fall easily and is tied tightly to the tree trunk at the appropriate height. Make sure the camera is stable and doesn't shake easily when blown by the wind or exposed to heavy rain. Next, set the camera setting by following the manual guide provided. 
editing ng mga to. Before leaving the camera, take one or two test shots to show that the angle and focus are set appropriately. Once completed, the camera trap will be retrieved after being left for 5 days according to the lab manual to see the recording result of the presence of wild animal in the area. Here are the advantages of using camera trap to monitor the presence of wild animal, abundance, behavior and activity pattern without disturbing them. First, the use of camera trap is indirect when we don't need to capture or handle the wild animal. Second, it is suitable for monitoring wild animals that are sensitive to the presence of humans and easily feel threatened or dangerous. And finally, it is a continuous operation where it has a long installation period which is during the day and night. However, there is also a disadvantage to using a camera trap which is that it requires a high cost. Camera traps are expensive because they have high quality and come with an SD card. In addition, Recording is also limited to one place only. Camera traps are also sensitive to interference from the environment such as moving leaf, rain, and sunlight which can produce false recording. Overall, I hope the camera trap installation instruction in this video can help you to install the camera trap appropriately. So that's all from me. Thank you.